in tonight's video, I wanted to do a hand treatment video for you. I must admit, my hands have been very dry recently, as I'm sure you have all been suffering with as well. Because of the pandemic and everything else going on, I have been washing my hands about, no joke, a hundred times a day. I have two, one, two young children. So it involves a lot of hand washing. So they're feeling very sore, very dry, and just a little bit sorry for themselves. So tonight, I'm going to do a little pamper session for me. If you want to give yourself a little hand treatment alongside this video, I urge you to. You should look after yourself. You deserve it. Why would you not? So you can either watch this video now and come back to it and do your treatment on yourself. Or you can pause it, go and find whatever you have. That would be perfectly fine and join in. Or you could just sit back, relax and enjoy. So, the first thing I'm going to do is just tell you what I have on this beautiful tray. So I have this hand foam and this is the Scrubbing Tons Make. It smells absolutely amazing. You really have to try this stuff. It's beautiful. I'm obsessed with it right now. It's very delicate on my hands. I love the foamy consistency and my children can use it as well. So it's a great all-rounder. So I will be using that tonight. I'm actually going to be doing a mask on my hands and I did have a body mask which I used on my hands but I have unfortunately run out and at the moment I can't really afford another jar. However, I do have a facial mask which I was not so keen on for my face, so I'll use it on my hands. We can all improvise, can't we? I would advise that if you are going to do a mask on your hands, make sure it's just moisturising, nourishing ingredients. Nothing that's going to dry the skin out or cause any irritation. So this one has honey, oatmeal, lavender, and it does have some pink clay within it, 
but that shouldn't be a problem for my hands and I feel that anything that you can put on the face should be absolutely fine for my hands so I'm going to use that then again I don't have a nail oil particularly but I'm just going to use an oil that I do enjoy using um, this one is from Skin and Tonic. It's beautiful. It's quite a heavy oil, so I thought that would be really good on my nails. So I will be putting that on my nails and my cuticles. And then I have this beautiful hand cream from L'Occitane. My husband actually got me this and I haven't used it yet so I thought tonight would be the perfect opportunity to use it. It is rose and it smells amazing. But before I start any of that, I have this nail file. It's brand new. It still has the wrapper on. And it has four sides to it. It has file, both, smooth. shine and these are very soft files they they would not be for professional filing it's just kind of a little tidy up I have been keeping my nails quite short throughout the pandemic I do prefer them longer however I understand that I need to keep them short now so I'm just going to file them down just a little bit. I'm hoping to be able to return to work next month. I'm not going to lie, it's been quite a difficult couple of months with not being able to work and not having any money coming in, but we survived, don't we? Um, I'm okay and just excited to get back to work. So, I'm going to take this file and I'm going to take the file side and just gently Submit. I do not pay much attention to my nails. Not once in my life have I painted them. I just usually let them grow for about a month. File them a little bit. And if they start annoying me, I just chop them off. <laughs> start again. My nails grow so quickly. They've always been quite healthy. But that is probably because I just leave them alone. I saw 
suffer with OCD and one of my main triggers are my hands. I need to make sure that they are clean and I need to make sure that my nails are perfectly clean and that's probably why I don't wear nail polish. I would worry that I would have something underneath them. It sounds silly really, doesn't it? But we can't help how we are. Just grab my water. I love that sound. It's like a singing bowl. Another perfect sound, which I love.
very subtle but a really nice smell. It foams up beautifully as well. And it does leave your hands feeling like you have already moisturised them. Dry them off thoroughly. I'll leave this towel out because I will be using the mask next. So I'm just going to pour a little bit into this cup. Just go ahead and pour a little bit into the cup. So have some gloves. Which I will be placing my hands in for a few minutes once the mask is on so I'll just set them up now so that I don't need to worry too much when I have all of this on my hands what I will probably do is I will place it on one first then Put the glove on and do the next one. So I'll 
just mix that up a little bit it smells really nice as well ready now. I have my mask. I've also just got some fresh water for after to rinse it off. So I'm going to start with this hand and I'm just going to put just a small amount on. So that it covers the hand. And I'll do the palm as well. Because my palms are quite dry as well. amazing. And I'll grab my little glove. And just layer I'll place my hand into a glove.
leave these for about three minutes, not too long. Just long enough for the mask to sink into the hands. Let's see what noises we can make with them. these gloves off now. I'll bring the warm water over first because obviously my hands will be too slippy once I take the gloves off so I'll just bring that over now. Just make sure they're thoroughly rinsed. Just pat them dry. so soft. I have not felt like this for quite some time. <laughs> so, I'm now going to pop a little bit of oil on each fingernail. And just gently rub it in. So I have my oil, and this is actually four different oils. It's quite a thick oil, so that is why I thought it would be quite good for the nails. I do usually have a vitamin E oil, but I have not been out <laughs> in 13 weeks and I didn't really want to put 
put an order in like that, just for non-essential items. So, let's place some on the nails. I'll just pop. Let's just open this up a little bit. massage that in, just to soften the cuticle a little bit. Just gently Just like everybody else, life has been absolutely crazy lately and turned upside down. There is so much wrong in the world. I must admit I have not slept well for a number of weeks now. Just thinking about everything going on in the world. And rightly so, I should be thinking about everything going on in the world. All of the injustice in the world. Because I may feel that it is nothing to do with me. However, it is everything to do with me. It has everything to do with everybody. And I suppose just the person that I am, I need to know that I made a difference, even if it's a small difference. That's all any of us have to do. No one is asking for the world, just the smallest of differences, the smallest gesture of kindness. I have found that sometimes in my life, at the time, what seemed like the smallest of gestures towards another person has been the biggest of gestures to them. We just don't know what we are capable of, because unfortunately we're fear, we're terrified to do anything, but we shouldn't be, and we have to. So that's nicely rubbed in, so I'll do, go on to the other hand. And again, one, two, three, four, and five. And I'll just rub that in again. Just 
How are you all doing? Are you okay? What's been going on in your lives? Let me know. I like to keep in touch with you guys as much as <laughs> my children will allow anyway. I, I do try, I promise you. I, I really enjoy receiving and reading your comments. If you have any ideas for any videos you'd like, please leave them down below as well. That'd be pretty cool. I'm always open to different video ideas. So I'll just rub the remainder of the oil into my hands. I don't want to use too much because obviously we're using the moisturiser next. You guys know me by now. Everything has its place. <laughs> oh my god, I'm such a weirdo. <laughs> right, okay. So, I'm just going to start gently rubbing this in. you will 
just they have to go by or are you like me and you just kind of usually don't really pay much attention to your nails and hands I think after doing this I am going to try to be a little bit more careful with my hands However, I know that when I am back to work they are just going to be ten times worse because I will be washing them all the time. But it is needed because my line of work is in beauty and I am touching people will have gloves on, I'm sure, most, most of the time, but I need to make sure that my hands are perfectly sterile because their safety is paramount. But I dread to think <laughs> what my hands will look like in another month. Shall we do an update? Shall we see? <laughs> Maybe that might be something we will have to do. But for now, my hands feel absolutely amazing. They look a little bit red, but they always do that. It's because the blood has rushed to my extremities now because it's warm in here and I have paid a lot of attention to my hands but I hope you have enjoyed this video If you did, please do leave a like for me and a comment. I would love it if you came over to subscribe to my channel. I do try and release content at least once a week. It would be lovely to have you in my little family. But for now, I'm going to bed because it's nearly midnight, <laughs> but please do take care of yourself and I will see you again soon.